What are some biological life hacks that actually work? If you're worried you're gonna throw up, your mouth usually fills with saliva a minute or two beforehand, because the contents of your own stomach are harmful to your throat. It's a pretty good indication that you're gonna hurl. I find if I spit that saliva out, I can avoid throwing up. If I swallow it, I'll throw up. Since I hate throwing up, I spit and spit and spit until my brain is like okay then. You can do those spot the differences pictures instantly with a little practice. It's the same technique you use for free viewing stereo photo pairs. Cross your eyes until the two pictures merge. And then, this is the hard part, and it takes some practice. Bring the merged emit into focus. The differences between the two will stand out as depth anomalies in an otherwise flat image. This works because your brain is set up to compare the images from each eye to determine the depth of every point based on the parallax shift. The parts of the two flat images will still be a flat image at a different depth when you cross your eyes. But your brain doesn't know what to do with the parts that don't match up and they look weird in a way that's hard to describe. I've compared whole documents a page at a time this way. You can spot a single letter difference in a whole page. In a language you don't even read. Drink water before bed if you want to wake up early. That Christmas episode of The Simpsons changed my life. Every time I pee I scratch this one spot on my back. Now when it is important that I pee before a long car ride or know I'm going to a place without a restroom. I go to the bathroom and scratch that spot on my back and I start to pee whether or not I had to. Rolling around and stretching on the floor for 5 to 10 minutes helps to relieve a huge amount of body aches slash soreness for me. It's something I'm doing fairly regularly now because it works miracles when I'm physically spent at the end of a long day. Highly recommended. Up is a cat confirmed. Cramp your foot. Grab your big toe. Pull it forward and wiggle it about as fast as possible. Cramp goes away. Not sure if it's just a placebo type effect, but it works every time for me. If you have a bit of acid reflux, sleep on your left side. However, if you experience it frequently, talk to your doctor. If you take a warm shower before you get in bed, your core temperature will drop as you lie in bed because it rose in the shower, which your body reads as a stage of falling asleep, leading you to fall asleep much faster. I'm an insomniac. Most prescription sleep meds don't work for me, but this plus better sleep hygiene has helped me a ton. If you get a stitch in your chest, usually from running or just random, that bothers you when you breathe in past a certain point. You have to brace yourself and breathe in all the way quickly. The trick is to do it like the lung equivalent of pulling off a band-aid. As someone who gets these all THW got some time, 80% of the time it'll be gone immediately. The pinhole effect. If you're short or long sighted, then take off your glasses and make a tiny, tiny hole with your hand. Look through it and read something you normally couldn't. My friend who quit smoking recently told me this. He used to smoke majorly to relieve work stress. Not that he was too fond of smoking. His yoga teacher told him the reason he felt relieved when he smoked was because the long puffs of smoke he inhaled and exhaled were nothing but deep breaths. He advised him to sit and practice deep breathing whenever he feels like smoking. It's been two months since he quit. He says, all we need is to breathing deeply in this fast paced life. My father had a knee replacement a few years ago and tried to tough out the post-op period at home without any opiates. This led to one incident of pretty severe pain. He doesn't normally beg us to kill him, which made him finally pop some Percocets. But before the drugs kicked in he was still thrashing around in agony. To take his mind off it, I started asking him about his college apartment in all kinds of elaborate detail. Like what kind of carpet was on the floor. What color shower curtain did they have? What sort of dishes and on what shelves were they kept etc. etc. It forced him to focus his attention on his memories of this place and not on the pain he was currently experiencing. It was successful. At least long enough for the drugs to start doing real work on the problem. If you get brain freeze, either breathe with your mouth open for a few seconds and power through, or try to use your tongue to warm the roof of your mouth. Not sure if this fits here, but Vinegar is super useful in a lot of ways. I'm a very greasy and sweaty person, 
and sometimes my bow builds up to the point where I can still smell it fresh out of the shower. I also tend to get jock itch and athlete's foot pretty often, and have tried tons of things to fix these problems, including prescriptions, but ultimately found Vinegar to be the best. Just spray some on the problem area, wait a few minutes, and hop in the shower. The Vinegar kills the bacteria which cause the issue. It kills odor so well you'll probably be able to get away with not using deodorant for a few days after. Even. Not that you should. Though. Close bracket. It's also a great antihistamine. Instantly soothes itching. Which also makes it great on sunburns and insect stings. Particularly apple C idea fine gar. Not only does it make the sunburn stop itching. But it stops the pain as well. And seems to temper the sunburn into a tan. Minimizes peeling as well. I really can't emphasize enough how well it works on sunburns. More soothing and helpful than aloe. For sure. It stinks. But only for about 5 minutes. And you will eventually get over the shock of the smell. Oh. And the first time on the scrotum will sting a little. Close bracket. Walking each day for a certain amount of time increases your mental capacities. If you get up to go to the toilet at night. Close one eye and keep it closed while the lights are on. When you turn the light back off, the closed eye will still be adjusted to the dark. I might be late to the party, but if you mildly hurt yourself like a stub toe or a paper cut, pinch yourself elsewhere and focus on that feeling. Your body assumes it's more painful and stops feeling the pain from the other spot as much. It helps lessen the length you have to deal with the pain of the injury. I don't think this will work for gunshot wounds or decapitations, but I haven't had the chance to test it yet. Hate running? Try changing your stride to lots of smaller shorter steps. Went from 3 miles being a monumental hurdle to twice a week 8 mile runs feeling great. It's a lot easier on your knees and feet too. Also, audiobooks help with the boredom. Run outside, not on a treadmill. Edit I hate to use the phrase, but it was a game changer for me. Also I learned to try slowing down. Get my technique right and repeatable. Then after I was able to gain mileage, I was able to make my per mile time faster. Edit 2. Another surprising thing. Getting the right shoes and proper fitting running gear where I feel like I look good makes me feel good. I don't know. Sounds shallow but now I look forward to my runs and I can say this is a part of the ritual. Also to me. Treadmills. Running outside. Masturbation. Real sex. If you have a blocked nose right now try this. Exhale completely out of your mouth until your lungs are empty. Do not breath back in yet. Pinch your nose with thumb and forefinger. Don't breathe yet. Tilt your head all the way back. And then all the way forward. Do not breathe in yet. Repeat the head tilting exercise for as long as you can hold your breath. When you can't hold it anymore let go of your nose and breathe in a nice lungful. Your nose will be clear at least for long enough to use some nasal spray and clear it properly. This is awesome. You look a total dick and I've no idea how it works. But it does. Raising your feet and lean forward when pooping. Imagine a downhill skier's body position. No straining due to mimicking the action of squat toilets. Or just use a squat toilet. For hiccups. Take a deep breath. Swallow twice. Then exhale slowly out of your nose. I have no clue why it works. I just had hiccups yesterday and googled how to get rid of them and this worked. I'll definitely be using it next time. If you get a lot of mild headaches that feel like they might be caffeine headaches or maybe tension headaches, try drinking more water. They could be caused by dehydration. Sometimes in the morning before my shower I'll sit on the toilet to pee rather than stand. When I'm done peeing I'll continue to just sit there and read the news or whatever on my phone. 7 times out of 10 I'll end up pooping if I sit there long enough. This prevents that horrible situation where you shower then as soon as you get out you have to poop. I'm not a morning person so perhaps if I got up a little earlier and had a cup of coffee things would progress naturally. But this works for me. If you want to make yourself sneeze. Try staying in a dark place for a while and then going out into the sun. For 18 to 35% of people, that'll induce a sneeze due the fartic sneeze effect, or autosomal dominant compelling helioophthalmic outburst syndrome, achoo. 
Because scientists especially love a good acronym. If you're out drinking, have a glass of water in between every alcoholic drink. A big percentage of hangovers is just dehydration. I do this every time I drink, and I've never had a hangover. Also op. Is your username a destiny reference? If someone else has hiccups, ask them when the last time they saw a white horse was. They'll think about it for a split second. Then give you some sort of answer. Then their hiccups are gone. Sometimes I do this to random people, and not even tell them why I asked. They usually walk away thinking I'm some sort of weirdo. But hey, their hiccups are gone. If you need to draw a straight line without a ruler, draw two dots, and put your pencil on one of them. Stare at the other dot and draw your line without looking anywhere else. Our brains will automatically make your hand go to where you are looking creating a straight line. Edit, thank you kind stranger for my first reddit gold. Mindfulness meditations can actually cause your brain to change physically to make you less anxious. You can help loosen a plugged sinus by alternating pushing on the roof of your mouth with your tongue or thumb, then using your other hand to push just above the bridge of the nose. Also, a finger up the rectum is the best hiccups cure. I'm serious. Not sure if this counts, but putting food on a smaller plate tricks your body into feeling like it ate more, supposedly. Plant macro clover in your lawn for free fertilizer and food for bees. From one of those, what the duck did I just read? Moments. Females. When constipated. Could apparently. Move their fecal matter. By inserting their fingers into their vaginas. And guiding it out of their anus. Stand upright with your side. Pressed against a wall. Now. Try to lift your arm with all of your might against the wall. Even though the wall prevents your arm from moving. The motion you want to try to do. Is the same as doing a lateral arm lift. Do this for about 20 to 30 seconds. Now turn away from the wall and relax your arms. SPOOKIGH hosties will magically lift your arm up. Do you want immunity from infections without actually being sick? Try subcutaneous injections of weekend and slash or inactivated virus and bacteria. The bacteria and virus will not produce symptoms, but your body will still make antibodies, providing often a lifelong immunity. Just ask your doctor about the greatest biological hack ever invented, vaccination. If you feel tired all the time and other causes have been ruled out, you might actually be dehydrated. Dehydration can cause exhaustion. Try drinking two more small bottles of water a day and see if you feel better. Same goes with unexplained aches and pains that have no known cause. Dehydration causes muscle cramping. Fortinitus. Stolen from another sort of thread. Place the palms of your hands over your ears with fingers resting gently on the back of your head. Your middle fingers should point toward one another just above the base of your skull. Place your index fingers on top of your middle fingers and snap them, the index fingers, onto the skull making a loud, drumming noise. Repeat 40 to 50 times. Some people experience immediate relief with this method. Repeat several times a day for, as long as necessary to reduce tinnitus. Drive. Janstridum. Of A to Z of health. Beauty infantis. Orc. Apostrophe. Not a human body related one. And pretty late to the party. But, you can grow a stick into a bush or tree. For example, you come across a raspberry bush and you wish you had a raspberry bush. Here's what you do. Ideally, you wait until the plant is dormant. Maybe between Nov and Ma. In the northern hemisphere, depending on where you live. Basically when the plant has no leaves. Cut off a stick a foot long or a little more. 30 plus centimeters. It should have several little fat spots on it, called nodes or butts. Keep the stick wet. Once you get it home, gently peel back an inch or so of the bark at the bottom. Some people add a substance called rooting hormone at this point, available at any garden store. Stick it in dirt, so that one or two buds are out of the dirt, maybe covering one slash two dash two slash three of the stick. Water the dirt. The pro tip at this point is to keep the bottom of the dirt warm but the top of the plant cool. It's not always required, but helps a lot. People use heat mats for this. This is no slam dunk, but half the time or better, you'll get a new plant. Cloning is not just for laboratories. Edit, forgot to mention, 
that it is absolutely critical to plant the cutting right side up for many plants, if not most. People keep track of which side goes up slash down by cutting one at an angle. Also, all this is really pretty general. If you know the name of the plant you want to propagate and want to do your homework, Google propagate your plant from cuttings and see if there are variations from this technique for that plant, shorter or longer cuttings, number of nodes, rooting hormone, etc. Close bracket. If you often find yourself lying half awake wondering if you really need to go to the bathroom or if you can go back to sleep and ignore it, the thing to do is tell yourself now that when you recognize that situation you must immediately get up and go. Because let's face it, you will eventually anyway. You half asleep brain is very bad at making decisions. Make the decision now, and your half asleep brain will know it was a good decision. Made while you were in a better state, and you can trust yourself to just do it. Then go back to sleep. Go for an alternating walk run for 10 to 15 minutes every night, if you're depressed slash at a low point. Before I had a timer. I would literally count the seconds to time my walk slash run intervals in my head. It's fast, easy, cheap exercise. I don't get too sweaty, so I don't necessarily have to shower afterwards. Counting the seconds gets your mind off of any upsetting thoughts. The night air is cool and refreshing and you don't have to squint slash sweat in the sun and everyone else's stares. And afterwards you get to drop off into a happy, blissful sleep with your mind. Soaked in happy exercise chemicals. Bonus. You lose weight slash tone up. For males. Sorry gals. To get rid of that underwear dribble that happens after you go pee at a urinal. Use your finger. Press it against your scrotum. Near your taint. And while keeping it pressed. Slide it in the direction away from your taint. You'll know you've done it correctly when you get one last squirt of urine and no more dribbles. Please subscribe and leave a like if you enjoyed this video and if you want to see more of Reddit Universe.